to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today, um, before I start, I'd like to thank my son who's been recording all these YouTube videos. There's some that my daughter has recorded, but I would like to thank him, Hassan Mullah, for recording my um, videos. Um, without him, I wouldn't. it wouldn't be possible for me to do these videos. So he actually takes time out from school and his other stuff to record us. So I think a lot of things goes to him. So thanks, thank you very, very much. And then my daughter Sakina Mullah has done some other videos too, so thank you to you too. So anyways, we're going to start off making uh, butter chicken today. This is my most requested recipe. Now, everybody makes um, things differently, and this is the way I make my butter chicken. So try it and see if you like it, but um, uh, it's uh, one of my favorites. My kids love it, although I have dietary restrictions and I can't have it myself. But my, every time I tell my kids or my husband that I'm making butter chicken, their faces just light up. So I hope you guys like my recipe. So let's go ahead and review some ingredients here. I have got some olive oil here, about two tablespoons we're going to be using to saute um, our vegetables. And then we're going to be using uh, two tablespoons of tandoori masala. You can use any brand that you have. I'm not in any way promoting this brand. It's just the one that we have and that's the one I use. We're also going to be using Sean's butter chicken, Sean's butter chicken masala, and we're only going to be using maybe a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of it, not more. And then we have some um, unsalted butter here. Now this is completely optional. If you don't like to put butter in it, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. It says butter chicken. I like adding butter chicken in it. Um, we've got lemon pepper here. We've got salt, and I forgot to grab pepper, so I'm going to grab pepper. Um, I've got um, some whipping cream here, which we're going to use um, in the end. I've got two tomatoes here, one banana pepper. Now, if you really like your curry spicy or your um, butter chicken spicy, you can use jalapenos or habaneros. Um, we don't eat very much spicy, so I go with the uh, banana peppers. And then I've got one onion that I have chopped here. Now, if you have fresh tomatoes at home, um, you might want to chop them up. I just didn't have any fresh ones. I had stuck this in the freezer, so we're just going to put this all in the blender. And then I've got about two pounds of um, chicken breast that I have cleaned and cut in about one inch cubes. Now I know some people use the dark meat, boneless dark uh, dark meat from the chicken. You can do that if you like. My family just likes the breast, so I use the breast, and then I just have some extra whipping cream that if we need, we might be throwing that in. So the most, the first thing we want to do is we want to marinate the chicken, our chicken. So what we're gonna do is very very simple. We're gonna just take some ginger and garlic here and we're going to go ahead and marinate our chicken with ginger and garlic very very simple ingredients ginger and garlic salt grab my pepper real quick some pepper and some tandoori masala. And you wanna um, marinate this for at least 20 minutes. Okay. You just wanna mix this together and just keep it aside. While this is marinating, we're gonna go ahead and get our vegetables done. Got it really nicely mixed up there. So we're gonna keep this aside. Look at how, it, if you just even stick this in the oven, it would look great, just tastes good, just the way it is. So anyways, I'm gonna um, keep that aside for about 20 minutes. In my saucepan here, turn the stove on. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil and let that heat up, okay? While that's heating up, I've already chopped my onions. I'm just going to get my tomatoes ready. And this is actually um, doing this method of um, 
tomatoes is actually a lifesaver. You know, sometimes I just don't have time when I bring tomatoes or, or sometimes I bring it and I plan to do something with it and I just don't have enough time. Best thing, just stick it in the freezer. Just the way you bring it, just stick it in your freezer. And today when I was planning to make this recipe, for a second I thought, oh my God, I do not have tomatoes. And then I remembered I had some in the freezer. So these come really handy when you need it. You just wanna take you know, the end off, just like so, and then we're just gonna... Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions in here. And we're just gonna let that fry up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and cut our other um, tomato. I guess put it in. We can add it, not a problem. Okay, now I just got the banana pepper here. And same thing I do with the banana peppers. I just bring them home and stick it right in the freezer. And when I need it, I have it. I'm just gonna take the seeds off. gonna let this get nice and soft and fry up just a little bit okay so see how the um, onions and tomatoes have become really nice and soft I'm gonna shut this off and I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the um, blender here All right, in the same pot. So I'm gonna keep this right here. We're gonna blend it in just a second. But before that, let's go ahead and turn our stove back on. And I'm gonna, again, go ahead and put our olive oil in there, just about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken mixture. Now, I had forgotten to add the lemon pepper in here, so the recipe does call for lemon pepper. If you don't like, if you don't want to put it in there, it's perfectly fine. You could add a little bit of citric acid or a little bit of fresh lime juice. That's perfectly fine. So um, olive oil is heating up. We're gonna go ahead and just pan fry this chicken. Till it has cooked through. While this is getting done, I'm gonna go ahead and blend our mixture here. Okay. Now, when you put this mixture in your blender, Please be very, very careful because there is steam in there and this is hot. If you don't put your hand over the blender, the top is going to fly off and you might get burnt. So please be very careful whenever you put anything hot in your blender. You want to put your hand on it, put some pressure on it and gently start the food process or, or the blender. until we get our um, chicken fried up here or cooked up. So I've had this um, covered and it we're gonna see if it's already done cooking. 
and you don't want to overcook your chicken now the water in there is this uh, the gravy that came out from the chicken if you don't have enough gravy you can add water or if you have chicken stock or vegetable stock you can do that but this has been on the um, stove for about five minutes and I want to show you just when you um, cut just cut into the chicken like so it should cut very easily and it should be white inside so this is done you just don't want to overcook the chicken so at this point what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and empty this in another bowl okay Put this back on the stove, add just a little bit more olive oil, and then remember to make sure that we had grinded. Well, when you hear that, that means the oil is nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, mixture in here. At this time, we're going to go ahead and season this with salt. And we're just going to cook the mixture up just a little bit. And I had some of the mixture sitting in there, so I just added some water so it doesn't go to waste. Okay. At this point, I'm going to just, okay, now we're just going to cook this mixture just a little bit. And if you keep on stirring it, it's not going to bubble up and fly all over you, so. It's a beautiful, like a yellow color um, that has come out from the tomatoes. If yes, if you leave it, it's gonna start bubbling and splattering. So, just gonna add the salt. and you just want to cook it just a little bit, just so you're sure that the um, onions have cooked up just a little bit. Okay. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken in there. Give it a good stir. <coughs> Lots of spices. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add our whipping cream in there. Okay. Now, the whipping cream depends on how much gravy you want. If you want a lot of gravy in there, you can add more. If you just kind of want it a little dry, you can just leave it at that. And I forgot to also mention we're going to be adding just about a tablespoon of ketchup just to give it that sweet taste. Just a little bit of the sweet taste and then the color also is going to help. Okay. And then we have our butter and I'm not going to put the whole four tablespoons in there I'm just gonna add like one and a half tablespoon in there and then we'll add just a little bit of the um, butter chicken masala in here now like I said if you like it really spicy you can add more in there and I, I like using Sean and I think um, Shan is it's it's you it's accessible anywhere in London in India everywhere so that's why I used this in this recipe that you know it's got such wonderful spices in there so instead of putting my own spices I like to add a little bit of the buttercream spices in there it smells fantastic I wish I could eat it and I'm just gonna add 
that little bit of uh, butter in there. And that's all the butter you need. You really don't need to add that much butter in there. So we've got our butter chicken all done. And um, like I said, presentation is key. Um, you just wanna wipe off all the side of the bowl so it looks really nice and clean. And I'm just gonna stick a mint in there. And I'm just gonna dribble, drizzle some of the whipping cream on there, just for um, presentation. And this concludes our video on how to make butter chicken. This is one dish that I'm not going to sample because this is one dish that I absolutely love. My family absolutely loves it, but unfortunately I can't have it. It's got too many uh, things that would not suit my stomach. So I guess I'll just um, leave it at that, that you will have to do the test, uh, taste test and let me know what you think about this recipe. Email me on Rihanna's Cuisines at gmail.com. Don't follow to don't forget to follow me on Facebook. If you like this video, you like my other videos, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get some comments back. So that's it. This concludes our episode of uh, um, Butter Chicken. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great recipe. See you then, friends.